Hello, everybody. This is Father Bill, and I'm here in the confessional of our church, and this is the Friday Reflection. Well, I just really want to briefly encourage you today, as you hear this or watch this, hopefully this is on Friday when you hear this, uh, to come to our reconciliation service, our communal reconciliation service. During this time, it's Advent. It is a penitential season. That's why we have purple, and that purple is a sign of repentance. And this is a time for us then to think about and prepare for not just the first coming of Jesus, but his second coming. And we don't know when that'll be, right? And so what a great thing it is that we prepare because we don't know that we would be washed clean by the blood of the lamb through the sacrament of reconciliation. And as I'm here, you can kind of hear music in the background. The kids are preparing for, this is the second thing coming up, is uh, their Christmas concert. But let me get back to confessions here. So if you are uh, wondering and pondering on whether God is calling you to go to confession, I want to be the one person that I also encourage you to please come. So we have this reconciliation service, a communal reconciliation service on Saturday, that is December 10th. That would be tomorrow if you're watching this on Friday. And if you're watching it after that, then, well, it's kind of too late for the reconciliation service. So you might want to look at the other area reconciliation services within our vicariate. Of course, we always have confessions here at the Sacrament of Reconciliation on every Saturday from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So as we do uh, continue journeying in Advent, think about this. What's going on in your life? What needs to be put straight? Where have you failed to love? Where have you broken your relationship with God or with somebody else? And seek out reconciliation. Because every time we sin, we don't just sin by ourselves. We sin against others because we're part of the body of Christ. And we sin against God. And how do we get forgiven for all those things? Well, we could possibly attempt to go to all those people we've harmed. But that would be like going to the person, to many people. Sorry, 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 sorry. I mean, there's just too many people in the church. Because we've sinned against also the body, the whole community. And so that's where the priest steps in as a representative of the body of the church. And when you come to him, he absolves you. Because he's been given that authority by Christ through the apostles. But also, the, what, that, what does that do? It reforms you and brings you back into communion with our Lord and with the church. And so think about that. So now, when we do this, because there's going to be many people, we'll be saying at the Communal Reconciliation Service, we'll be saying together the act of contrition. So sometimes people are worried, like, I don't remember the act of contrition. No worries. Typically, we have it like here. I have the act of contrition in my table here. So if you needed it, uh, you could say that or pray that. You can always make one up if you wish. But we're going to say it as a group at the Communal Reconciliation Service. So that makes that easier. The other part is because there's so many people, we ask that you kind of really concentrate and be succinct about your confession. It's not a time really for um, spiritual direction or counseling. And so also I'd ask that you make sure that you're clear and concise about your sin. We don't need to know all the details. Just we need to know the sin or the sins. And when it comes to like how long it's been since you've been to confession, we're not like making tallies. It's the, it helps the priest, myself, to know roughly, you know, is this person that's been to confession last week? That'd be different than saying, okay, someone who's not been to confession in, um, say, a year, five years, 10 years, 20, 30 years. Those are just qualitatively different things, right? That just helps me so that I can know and then maybe offer a penance. That would be, of course, affiliated or somehow associated. Now, but with this reconciliation service we're doing, we will all be given a one single penance for all of us, unless the priests that are with us discern differently. And that may happen. We have uh, five priests total. And uh, they're from the vicariate. And I was even able to get uh, Father Don, or Monsignor Don Buxman to help us out. Uh, and he's, of course, he's one of our parishioners, but he's a beloved priest of Archdiocese. And it's just a great gift to have him with us. So consider coming. Think about this you now between now and when you hear this and Saturday. So it may be only maybe less than 24 hours. Uh, so think about this. Ponder on it, what God has done in your life where you may have fallen short and missed the mark and ask Jesus to come and help you and to forgive you of your sins and set you free. Remember we in the, the whole thing of um, our preaching that we're offering, so that we are created, that we've been captured by sin and by Satan and, and evil and all these other things, but God has come to rescue us. One of those great ways he helps rescue us is by forgiving us of our sins and absolving. I mean, it's very... 
an absolute way, right? Uh, forgiving this, uh, absolutely forgiving you. And as we do so, in the background, I'm hearing uh, kids sing, preparing for our Christmas concert. And I want to encourage you to come. That will be next Tuesday. And I believe that's uh, in the afternoon. I'm not quite sure of the time, so hopefully I'll put that up on the screen here. Uh, but if you can come to that, that would be awesome. That'll be, uh, our Christmas program will be done in the church. So if you can come and celebrate with our school kids the joy of Christmas as we prepare through the last parts of Advent, that would be awesome. And may you and your family have a great Gaudete or Gaudete Sunday and week. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.